Hey guys, welcome back to Fallout 76. I'm I'm super excited to be back with you again. I love making these videos. I hope you guys have been enjoying them. If you guys are new to the channel, welcome to the channel. I've got all kinds of different guide videos. Uh, most of them are still pretty relevant. I don't think I've covered anything that's not relevant. And so you guys can go back and watch them if you're interested in it. But today I'm back again to share with you several more locations that I've found that should be very good for grinding experience and farming good things. And there's a couple locations that can give you a lot of resources that are very valuable and uh, I hope you guys enjoy the video like it like I said if you guys are new to the channel uh, definitely make sure to uh, subscribe because I'm gonna be pumping out fallout stuff as, as long as I can okay as long as I have content for you guys feel free to leave your locations that you grind at I've made a couple of these videos now and I think they're pretty good but let's state first and foremost obviously guys the best spot to go in the game is the golf course right I mean the golf course is the best spot to go in my opinion and probably a lot of other people's opinion because it's super easy to control enemies there it's very easy to gather enemies and make things happen and just wipe out things pretty easily and then people are always there and so they're bringing more and more enemies people nuke the location constantly so you've got the that aspect that you can do but this video is going to feature several other locations that I think uh, are very good and I think you guys are going to like it so let's go ahead and let's get into the action okay so the first area that we're going to talk about since I was really close by it, it is site Bravo or any of of the site locations if you guys don't know these areas are extremely guarded okay not up here not as much right because they're super hidden if you, you know look there's nothing here there's nothing here at all but if you go down the elevator door to the lower levels you're gonna run into all kinds of robots turrets all kinds of stuff and all of that is farmable all of that you can like easily uh, gather for yourself and there's a ton of things in here and there's different things that you can do inside that will basically trigger more enemies and so it, this this area is just filled to the brim with things and like I said I should say first and foremost um, this area it, these areas are very very tough depending on your level and so you might want to be aware of that aspect now when you come in here there's going to be a couple different things that you got to do to like kind of trigger things happening but you can see you'll start seeing there's just bots everywhere but like i mean look at this you guys there they just keep coming there's so many of them in here so once you've done all the objectives at the beginning and you make your id card and stuff and you you can go to the you go to the control room and you kind of proceed along you're gonna find that there's tons of enemies that will uh, that will come there are, there are assault trons in here that can you know obviously give you a, give you some problems and so keep that in mind those things are pretty pretty deadly all right so when you when you come past this area this is where things start getting crazy okay we have a, a, a room up in here that you have to repair all of these different all of these different pipes and stuff and there's so many turrets in here and they will shoot from so far away there's turrets galore there's enemies galore and once you start doing once you start start this process you're gonna find that uh, there's a part where they just keep coming all these different bots and so it's uh, definitely very very chaotic down here very quickly so yeah, you just keep, just basically keep making your way through here, doing the different objectives. Once you hit a certain level and you have a, and you have a good enough gun, you're gonna find that you can go through here pretty easily, and uh, you'll rack up a lot of experience. So yeah, I mean, there's multiple areas that you can do this at, and then you know it's pretty good experience. I got a full level and some, and so uh, you know it's a very important area to come to, and it's very good for for grinding experience as well. So, all right, next one. Okay, so there's another place I'll talk about real quick. Uh, any of the places where there's like a SAM site where you have to essentially defend against Scorch Beasts or Scorch in general uh, is a really good place. And like right now I'm at four Defiance. There are three Scorch Beasts. I've killed two already. There's a third one flying around. And you can use the uh, Sonic Signal thing to bring them down, to force them down. And so you can repair that. You can repair the SAM, the surface to air missile, and uh, they'll start. They'll start attacking everything that's around. And it's just a really. These are really good places to get experience and really good loot. And so 
definitely make sure to uh, come to any of these locations if you ever see anything pop up this one just uh, was going these were just here this was not even an event and so sometimes you can have that happen too all right so the next place that I want to talk about a lot of robot stuff in this video and another place I'll mention in this clip as well which I don't need I don't know if it justifies me going there so dire chemical Right, is this big facility here, and there's all kinds of different robots and stuff here you can go to. Sugar Grove is also a pretty good place to go to, but what I noticed about Sugar Grove is that uh, there's not as many robots as you think, and so it could be a good place to maybe sug uh, sugar sugar hop. <laughs> it could be a, a good place to server hop. You could always do that in that location, but uh, Dire Chemical has a little bit more. You could also go to Watoga. That's another place you could go to. Watoga. I mean, there's just. I'll, I'll show you a good a good route to go in Watoga here in a second. Uh, but Watoga is a good place to go too. Just make your way throughout the area, killing whatever's around. Whatever is around. There's stuff everywhere. There's stuff up on the walkways. There's stuff in the streets. There's stuff in the buildings. Just just look everywhere. There's this robots are all over the place here whoa man good thing for that survivor perk i love that perk man it's my favorite one especially having such a low health that i have somebody's like your low health is giving me anxiety it's like well adrenal reaction gives you quite a big boost of damage so you're just gonna have to get used to seeing it also there's a i i, I have made a new perk uh build for the explosive shotgun uh, I really hope they don't tweak, uh, like, I really hope that they don't nerf these things, because if they do, it's really gonna kind of ruin things for me, but, uh, I've got a new, a, a new build that's gonna make this even better. So, oh, another thing, too, to notice, to mention, is that this area has, I think, three or four fusion cores. I haven't actually got them, but I'll get them in this video. Uh, they're all over the place. There's some of the sewers, too, and then it's kind of scattered about the buildings and stuff, too. So, yeah, just make your way through this area and um, just uh, kill everything that you see. And then also, don't forget to go in the back of Dire Chemical here. It's uh, this, this build, the far right side. There's these pipes down here, and uh, if you go inside, there will be some stuff inside. This is part of a quest, so spoiler alert, don't want to ruin it for you, so I'm not going to talk about what it is or what's going on in here. But uh, navigate through the sewers and stuff, and there will be some some stuff down here, some ghouls and whatnot that you can take out. Oh, do I have the bug, or am I just missing? Oh, I was just missing. Some ghouls in here, fusion cores, fusion core upstairs. But yeah, generally, I think this is a pretty good area to come to. Uh, I... The, the thing is, is like, there are areas that are very efficient and have uh, the ability to be repeated very easily. I think this is one of the areas, but it's pretty large. Uh, Some place like Sugar Grove might be a little bit better because it's uh, more compact. Obviously, the golf course, that's why the golf course is really nice, is because there are, you have the ability to do it pretty quickly, server hop, control the enemies, People go there a lot, so you have like repeat spawns and stuff like that. Uh, but you know, if you kind of look at the different areas, there's about the same amount of enemies in almost all the locations for the most part, from what I can see. And so I think it's a reason for the servers and stuff. Oh, and another thing too that I should mention: sometimes right out here on the road, uh, uh, when Wendigos is that the right way to say it? Everyone's freaking out that I said Wendigos. Uh, it's just how I say things, okay? Gulpers down here. Okay, Wendigo's up there, and so, oh, a legendary golfer. So yeah, just uh, be just be aware that on the outskirts too, there's a couple different things that you can you can loot too. <gasps> no, you did not. No, 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 no. You you saw it. You saw that crap, guys. There was a legend. There was a uh, vampires. Oh, and it gave me something else in instead. There was a, a vampire uh, black powder pistol. I'm sure that would have done quite a bit of damage, but I'll never know because the game decided to bug out on me. Darn it. Yeah, so just uh, check the outskirts here. And like I said, check up there because sometimes, uh, not all the time, because I've been here a few times and there wasn't there wasn't anything up here. Uh, but sometimes there'll be a Wendigo that will spawn, Wendigo that will spawn up here. Or two of them. I saw two of them once. Or maybe he's up there. It's on one of these roads. But I'm I'm 
I'm thinking it was right here. So anyway, uh, it's a pretty good area. I, you know, like I said, it's pretty large. It's not as contained. So there are obviously other areas that are more efficient. But the point of this video is to not show the same things because obviously people want to explore and do different things. I'm just showing you multiple areas of the map so that there's you can find these places uh, pretty much no matter where you go. All right, so let's go ahead and let's move on to the next spot. Okay, so down here in Watoga, uh, obviously we talked about the high school in a previous video, uh, but if you don't know, the high school is another really amazing place. To, it's actually, I, I, okay, I'd say this, the golf course is number one, the high school might be number two, in my opinion, because what happens in the high school is an event called Monster Mash, and basically tons and tons of ghouls come, and then you can repeat it like three or four times. Usually, I think it's three usually, and then you could just server hop and do it again. It's pretty crazy. It gets kind of boring though. Uh, that's why I don't really. This is why it's not my number one, even though the potential for the amount of experience you can earn is probably more here than at the golf course probably maybe uh the difference is is at the golf course you can control the enemies a lot better than you can here but we're not here to talk about that we're here to actually talk about the city in general there's guys there's robots everywhere in watoga everywhere so you can just go through the whole city and kill stuff and new ones are fabricated so you can essentially just stay here for a long time but there is a really cool thing uh, about this area so down here if you kind of see all the walkways there's patrols that are around the city that patrol the area assault trons other little uh, robots and things like that and so even if, when you come here even if you're like making your way through here don't forget to go through like the whole area because there's stuff everywhere and like you can see there's one right there which was that a legendary? I should actually look before I kill things. Here's an Assaultron right here. Uh, there'll be stuff just all over the place. I, that looked like it was a legendary. The name was way too long. What's happening? Why are things getting just getting erased? What the heck? That one stayed. Do I? Ha is it like a legendary bug or something? Were the legendaries? Legendary Protectron. I think it's a bug where I'm seeing them, but they're not actually there. Ooh. Stalkers cry later. What is the... What is that one, actually? So, oh, I, I wanted to say this. I totally keep forgetting. Um, what I think you should do is f if you want to grind, one of the best things you can do is find a place that has a station nearby. And so Watoga has the Watoga station right here. Oh, and it also has the shopping plaza. Both of these vendors will have 200 caps apiece. And so gather all your materials and then uh, go sell them. And, you know, it's it's just... I, I think it's it, it will be most efficient for your time to grind in an area where there is also stations so that way you have places to to sell them too i love how they do that when you kill them but yeah all along this walkways there's going to be all kinds of assaultrons they're pretty lower level but that you know that shouldn't matter much to you super mutants too oh gosh do i have a bug no thank thank the lord because i was gonna not like that i hate it i hate it guys I hate having to re-log and stuff. It's so annoying. So yeah, this is what I'm talking about, guys. Um, this area has got a lot of stuff, but it's not ideal because you have to kind of uh, walk around a lot to find the th stuff that you want to kill. And ideally, you want to find stuff really like compact all together so you don't have to go very far. What's this? I thought that was a legendary one. This one's legendary. Don't disappear on me. Okay, give me your stuff. Oh, a war drum. That's the first war drum I've actually got. Another stalker's war drum, too. What is blowing up? What's happening? They're just everywhere. See what I'm saying? Look at this. Super mutants. Super mutants. Where'd that other one go? There was another one right here, wasn't there? Walking around. There's just stuff. It's just This place is littered with stuff. Then you can just go and sell all your stuff. Uh, that's why... I, I'll, I love these locations because you don't have to worry about being over encumbered and you can easily uh, make a lot of money too at the same time. 91 damage. 204. Just gonna sell it. 
Cool. So the last place that I'll talk about is uh, the Glass Cavern. I mean, that's a it's a pretty obvious uh, place to go to. There's always going to be scores on the outside, and so it's up to you if you want to, you know, take the time to deal with them or the scorched beast and everything. But uh, you know, just kind of hang out down here, and the uh, scorch will. I mean, they'll still hit you and stuff, but at least you'll be able to have all the uh, other scorch come down come down to you and then you can take care of them stop please please I'm doing a video here okay just chill out so obviously the glass cavern is for higher level players high level scorch mass amount of scorch I don't know if they're gonna come anymore through there and uh, you're just gonna encounter all kinds of enemies throughout this place and they're gonna be oh and I should say there's also like a lot of dead stuff that can spawn some really nice stuff too and so uh you know definitely make sure to loot all the body and when you make your way into the area there's going to be scorched all over the place and as you mine the ultra site more scorch will come and so like you can and if you're with other people it's even i mean the, the mass amounts of scorch that can come is crazy the first time i came to this location i was with two other people and we were all mining the ultra site and there i mean it was like an endless flood of scorch they're everywhere in here and so you can really really rack up the xp by killing all the scorch and then at the end of the tunnel you know once you make it all the way there's the scorch beast and so you have the ability to get some good loot and that thing i think when that thing spawns uh like the noise i'm guessing will spawn other scorch and so you can just like keep mining and 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 you'll just get tons of them coming and so you can like walk backwards in the tunnel and you might find some more and so you can spend quite a bit of time in here and find all kinds of different scorch in here you know what i need to do is put I, I i fight a lot i fight scorched more than anything else and i really should put the uh the receiver i think it's the receiver the scorch receiver on here on the shotgun as long as I can't believe they still haven't fixed that bug so yeah just make your way through and then next up is battling the scorch that are in here and getting your sweet juicy rewards from that so I'm not entirely sure you know why all the guns are bugging out but you know the fact that you have to melee down the scorch beast king, uh, boss in here <laughs> i always call it the king it does have a crown but that's that doesn't mean anything it's just the boss you got to melee the boss because none of your guns are working and if you just keep mining the ultra site more scores will come you know obviously like the best thing that you can do is going to be uh you know going to the golf course or even better yet nuking the golf course or server hopping until you find someone some you know a server that somebody uh, nuke the golf course or something like that that's gonna be very very nice so I mean there's other places that are you know more efficient obviously but um, there's not I mean there's there's all kinds of different locations you can go to that aren't that are pretty good so yeah once you've got everything that you need then you can just head on out um, I think it's a pretty good location to grind uh, especially for higher level loot you know the chance of getting some good stuff and getting an ultra sight that's obviously an added bonus, but I think it's a pretty good spot. It definitely has a lot of enemies, uh, more enemies than most places. And so if you're looking for some some nice action, uh, this is a great place to come to as well. So, yeah, guys, that's going to be for today's video. Uh, I don't know, you know, unless you guys have some other really good places to go to, it, it doesn't matter what level it is. I'll showcase everything, uh, you know, for new players or whatever. But, uh I don't know if there's any other really efficient locations to go to other than what I've shown uh, in my videos so far. And so, like I said, if you guys have a place that is really good that you would like me to talk about, definitely make sure to let me know that in the comments below. And then subscribe. Obviously, you guys are new to the channel and you're interested in some more uh, Fallout content because I'll be bringing it. Hopefully, you guys are having a great day. Things are going well. See you guys in the next one.